The answer to this question is uh, really simple because we are not ready for prime time. <laughs> Tumor mutational burden represents a really fascinating biomarker, uh, having a very good rationale of developing for uh, its predictive value in respect to immunotherapy treatments. But uh, we need to more data, uh, in particular for uh, relation with the overall survival, uh, to predict uh, the overall survival of patients, not only with no small cell lung cancer, but also with other type of solid tumors. Uh, because today we have only data relative to progression-free survival, but the really problem of tumor mutational burden today is relative from a uh, technical point of view, because we need to harmonize the methodology that we have uh, to test tumor, muta tumor mutational burden in clinical practice, not only in clinical trials, because in clinical trials we use a very large panel uh, on uh, dedicated samples, but in clinical practice we have small samples like uh, cytological samples, small biopsies, and the quantity of DNA that we have is uh, not so high. Uh, we have some problem to define the number of uh, non-synonymous mutations starting from this type of material.